Kevin, I brought you out here to take a look at this lawn with me. Now it's just under an acre, so it's pretty large. In fact, it's right on the edge of pushing a mower around here. So you might be pushing a mower or you might be riding on a little tractor. You're sort of right on the cusp. Right. But not only that, there's some other things to look at. You've got obstacles, you've got trees, you've got rocks. You've even got a pretty good sized hill over here. Yeah, you don't want to be pushing a mower up this hill, or more importantly, you probably don't want to be riding a tractor on the side of this hill. No, that's tough. Wait a second, Roger, are you trying to get me to mow the lawn? No, I'm trying to get you to think about mowing your lawn differently. All right, Kevin, here we go. Oh. This is what's going to take care of this lawn. This is a robotic lawnmower. Look at this beauty right here. Tell me about it. Well, it's been around for about 20 years, but there's been some recent developments that have helped it make it a better yard machine, including a lithium ion battery. Right, which we're used to because they're in our power tools and a lot of people have them in their cell phones. And we know that they're light but powerful. Right, and it'll last a long time and we got a pretty big yard here. And you say we've got, what, just under an acre of lawn. Can this cut that much grass? It's actually rated for an acre and a quarter, so it would do this easily. Cool. The other thing, it has eyes that sense an obstacle, and we have obstacles here we talked about. So the machine will go up to it, stop, turn around, and go in another direction. And how do we stop it from just driving down the road and leaving this entire yard? Well, it has a GPS component that we can use, but what we're going to do is put a wire in the ground, which will tell it where to go. All right. We're going to run this low voltage wire all the way around the perimeter of the yard. Why don't you put a staple in about every three feet? All right, we talked about obstacles before and we have to handle them a little differently with this wire, Kevin. And we are going to go single line right around the tree. So I'm staking this. Yep. The so this is the wire that's going to keep our mower away from this obstacle? That's right. When the mower hits a single wire, it stops and turns and goes in another direction. Now at this point, Kevin, we have a double wire that cancels itself out and allows the mower to go right over the top. So we've created sort of a little island around any obstacle, so long as we've got a single wire. Right. Now we're right down to our perimeter wire and we can continue on. All right, we've just about run out of line, so we're going to have to make a connection. And then they give you these little splice kits. There's two parts to it, and inside is dielectric grease. It makes them waterproof. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and slide it in there and make sure we get it all the way in. And then we're going to take our other wire, slide that all the way in. And then all we have to do, take our pliers, squeeze down on that connection. And that's waterproof? Waterproof. Let's lay out some more. And we're also going to run a guide wire right down the middle of the yard. This will help the mower find its way back to the charging dock. Kevin, this is where we're going to locate our base station, our dock, which is where the machine is going to recharge. Mm -hmm. And what we're looking for in the area to put it is in the shade, keep it cool, level, make it easy for the machine to dock. Sure. And we'd like to have a place where there's a plug-in so we can power the machine. Perfect. What we have to do now is attach our two perimeter wires, our guide wire, and then we're ready to hook up the machine. All right, our mower's all hooked up. It's been charging for a little while. Should be ready to go. All right. All we're gonna do is push the start button, close the top, and in a few seconds, it should back out and start cutting. Let's see this thing go. Hey. <laughs> Look out, man, it's off and running. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it kicked in the gear. What do you think? Pretty neat, huh? It's quiet and it's just going after it, huh? Yeah, and it's going along cutting just a little bit at a time. It's like having sheep or cattle out here grazing on your lawn. And every time it hits an obstacle or that wire, it just sort of bounces off and just randomly starts going around? Randomly starts going. And then over time, sooner or later, it's going to hit every area and they're going to get cut. And look at that, Roger. It's working the hill here. I don't have to push it or anything. No, and it's actually programmed that if the hill's too steep, it'll go at an angle so it's not quite that steep and make the cuts that way. Huh. So Roger, I got little kids and they're going to be out in the yard and I guarantee you they're going to be all over this thing. If they're out here playing when this thing works, what Put happens? Put your foot right in front of them and watch what happens. Oh, look at that. It sensed me, huh? Pretty it's good, adjusting. huh? 
And what about security, Roger? What if somebody tries to take this? Well, if someone tried to take this machine, it would simply send out an alarm. You want it? Oh, I don't. Not anymore. Wow, that's terrific. And if someone does take it, it has a GPS in it, you can go find them. <laughs> Pretty cool, Roger. Although I don't need any GPS. If this thing's missing, it's at Tommy's house. You think so? Absolutely. <laughs> hey, what do you mean by that, Sonny? I just call him like I see him, Pops. <laughs> hey, if I wanted that lawnmower, I'd go and buy it. How uh, much yeah, is it? Right. Well, this top of the line model is $3,500. Oh. <laughs> but you can get a scaled down version that does a third of an acre for about $2,000. All right, so a gas walk behind is what, 500 bucks? Right, now add in what, the maintenance on it, keeping gas at your house, sharpening the blades, going out there and mowing. It's all about time. Over time, it would pay off. Now imagine you're paying some guy $50 to come and cut your lawn every week. That makes the payoff even sooner. Right. And this has less maintenance, right? So it's uh, battery operated. So as you say, we're not changing the gas or the spark plugs. But you do have to maintain the blades. You do have to do the blades if you look underneath here. Although it's not the blade you expect. I mean, check Whoa, this out. Geez. On a regular walk behind, blade. right? You think you got to... Look at that. Just take so that's going to take like about off. a 9 or 10 inch swipe. Yeah, but it's continuous, Tommy. The mower's going oh, and going and going. Yeah, there's there. your blades. You just very Whoa. simply take one out, pop a new one on. When you notice the grass turning brown on the tops, or if you look real close at the blades and they're all ragged on the end, right. that's when you want to put in a new blade. And, and it's making really small cuts all week long, which you prefer. Which I love because that's falling down into the grass, decomposing and feeding the lawn. So one of the big clumps like behind my lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Right. And don't forget, guys, it comes with an app if you like to mow your lawn of with course, an app. Of right? course. No, but I mean, if you check it out, it's a one screen that allows you to stop it or you can park it. And yeah. how about this? This is a GPS view. Oh. And you can even see the path it's taken on any given day. It's cutting on the hill. Yeah, it's and, right there. And if it ever ends up somewhere else, <clears throat> Tommy, we can track it. Just give me the address. I might swing by and take a look at it. I thought so. <laughs>